Hi everyone, it's your boy Awam Kenneth and welcome back to my YouTube channel. I know it's been a while and I have a story to tell but I'm not going to tell the story now so that I don't delay. So let's get into the video. As I promised, so I went on uh, kind of like mini tour around Nigeria, the eastern part of Nigeria and I did some random videos, compiled them together and I'm presenting it to you guys right now. So I had the opportunity of going to Abia State after like up to like 10 years or 7 years, I cannot remember. We normally just go down there because I'm from obviously. We normally just go down there when there is either a, bandera, a, f a burial or a wedding. I know, right? Um, so we don't do this kind of like December going back to home stuff. But I was very opportunist and very grateful for the opportunity to go back to Abia State and on my week going we saw some masquerades parading in Enugu, the land of the red dust as you can see. I was trying to get a good shot but it wasn't just working out well <laughs> and I was also like legit scared that if these people see me they might like catch my phone you know, and ask me to pay some kobo. So right now this is Abia State and I'm um, being driven around like going on like small sightseeing but actually I'm like working currently but yeah so obviously it was fun it was nice I mean it was weird in a way because I was in the capital I was in Umar here and it didn't really seem like a capital don't be deceived by the tall buildings that you see there it's just very weird like the economics of Abia state is so 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 weird that you just have to like sit down and think how are people making money in the states you know apart from like food transport the major income or major employer in the state seems to be um what would you say now banks and the state government and federal government apart from that Every person is on their own and someone once made this remark that there are tons and tons of SMEs in Abia State. Like everywhere you go, everybody is selling something, doing something, having a shop. But the bad part or the sad part about it is not a lot of customers, right? And unfortunately, I didn't get to go to um, um, Abba. Abba, that's where the clothes business people are. Uh, yeah, in a way, and uh, yeah, anyway, so obviously I was lucky for not going because it's quite muddy and the road is just a mess, but this is Abia State, God's own state, my own state, I just wish it was really good and better. Hi people, I am in Abia State, you know, um, I know, the exposure section. It's bright. Try to adjust it. Oh uh, yeah, it's crazy, right? Uh, yeah, I'm just amazed by the background, and I wanted to show you how the background looks like. Well, yeah. Okay, I would suggest you just sit back and relax and watch the rest of the video. One weird thing though, there yeah, is shop right in Abia State for some weird reason or another. First of all, I saw the building from afar and I was like, damn, just city, Plaza State does not have a shop right. And I feel like there's more buying power here. I don't understand the reason why there is a shop right in Abia State, to be honest. And someone in my previous video said, the shop right in Abia State is just for, just like a photo background, which is very harsh and shady. And we see you in the comment section. But yeah, that's it though. So see you in my next one. Stay tuned, guys.
Okay, Samsung. I don't know why your picture quality is way, way, way nicer than your video quality. Like, guys, see this forest. See this mini forest. Imagine having a backyard with a mini forest. I don't know why I'm so so into so into like the trees. Hey, I think it's day three in Abia State. I don't really know whether it's day three or day two at this point. But I am still here and I'm in this facility and just look at the backyard. Like, I like to the backyard. Look at your neighbor. Awesome greenery. Yo. Awesome. It's a basketball, basketball court here. 